As homeschooling becomes an increasingly popular educational choice, many parents wonder how to prepare their children for college and career paths. While homeschooling offers unparalleled flexibility and personalized learning, Preparing for post-secondary education or the workforce requires careful planning, especially during the high school years. This article will explore essential strategies for preparing homeschooled students for college and careers, including how to create a strong high school transcript, navigate standardized testing, and complete the college application process. We will also touch on career-focused paths for students who may not be pursuing college immediately after high school. Building a high school transcript for homeschoolers. A well-documented high school transcript is crucial for homeschooled students applying to college or entering the workforce. The transcript provides an official record of the student's academic achievements, coursework, and any extracurricular activities. What to include on a homeschool transcript. Course titles and descriptions. List each course your child has completed in high school, including core subjects like math, science, English, and social studies, as well as electives such as foreign languages, fine arts, or physical education. For each course, include a brief description and the number of credits earned. Grades. Assign grades for each course, ensuring that they are consistent and reflect your child's academic performance. You can use traditional letter grades, A, B, C, or percentage-based grades. Be prepared to explain your grading criteria if needed. GPA calculation. Calculate your child's GPA by averaging the grades they've earned. Colleges will often expect a cumulative GPA, so be sure to include this on the transcript. Course credits. Assign credit hours to each course. A full year course typically earns one credit, while a semester long course earns half a credit. This should align with typical high school standards. Extracurricular activities. List any extracurricular activities your child has participated in, such as sports, clubs, community service, or internships. These can highlight leadership skills, interests, and talents outside of academics. Formatting a homeschool transcript. Official title. Label the transcript with your homeschool's name if you've chosen a name, along with the student's full name, address, and contact information. Date of graduation. Include an expected graduation date or the date of completion if your child has already graduated. Professional appearance. Use a clean professional template to ensure the transcript looks official. Many online platforms and homeschool organizations offer templates for creating high school transcripts. Parent signature. As the homeschooling parent or teacher, sign the transcript to certify that the information provided is accurate. Tip. Regularly update the transcript at the end of each academic year to avoid scrambling to pull together information when your child applies to colleges. Standardized testing for homeschoolers. Standardized tests play an important role in the college admissions process. While many colleges have moved toward test optional policies, Standardized tests like the SAT and ACT still provide a way for homeschooled students to demonstrate their academic abilities in a standardized format. SATT versus ACT. Which one should your child take? The SAT is a widely recognized college entrance exam that tests reading, writing, and math skills. It's slightly longer than the ACT, and some students find the questions more analytical. If your child excels in critical thinking and problem solving, the SAT might be a good fit. The ACT tests similar subjects, but also includes a science section. The math questions on the ACT tend to be more straightforward, but the science section requires interpreting data and graphs. If your child has strong skills in science or prefers a faster paced test, the ACT may be better suited. Many students take both the SAT and ACT to see which test better reflects their strengths. Be sure to check the admissions requirements for the colleges your child is interested in, as some may prefer one test over the other. PSAT and National Merit Scholarship Program The PSAT, typically taken in 10th or 11th grade, serves as a practice test for the SAT. Additionally, it qualifies students for the National Merit Scholarship Program, which can provide significant scholarship opportunities. 
Homeschooled students are eligible to take the PSAT at local high schools, so be sure to contact a nearby school to register. Advanced Placement AP Tests and CLEP Exams Taking AP courses and exams or CLEP, which stands for College Level Examination Program, exams allows homeschooled students to earn college credit while still in high school. These tests demonstrate mastery of college-level material and can strengthen a homeschool transcript. AP Exams If your child is taking AP courses or studying at an advanced level, they can take AP exams in subjects like calculus, biology, or English literature. A high score on an AP exam can result in college credit or advanced placement in college courses. CLEP Exams CLEP exams allow students to test out of introductory college courses. This is a great option for students who are self-studying or already have a strong knowledge base in certain subjects. The college application process can feel daunting for homeschoolers, but it is very similar to that of traditionally schooled students. Here are the steps to help your homeschooled child apply to colleges with confidence. Start by researching colleges that align with your child's academic interests, values, and career goals. Some colleges are more homeschool-friendly than others, offering specific admissions guidelines for homeschooled students. Make a list of schools that suit your child's preferences, including a mix of reach, match, and safety schools. College Application Components Personal Statement the personal statement or essay is an opportunity for your child to highlight their unique experiences, passions, and perspectives. Homeschoolers often have distinctive life stories and educational journeys, so encourage your child to share how homeschooling has shaped their goals and character. Letters of Recommendation Even though homeschooled students may not have traditional teachers, letters of recommendation are still important. Consider asking mentors, coaches, employers, or tutors to write letters that speak to your child's abilities and character. Supplemental materials. Some colleges may ask for additional materials from homeschoolers, such as a detailed curriculum description, portfolios of work, or lists of textbooks used. Be prepared to provide these documents if requested. Dual Enrollment and Community College Many homeschooled students take advantage of dual enrollment, which allows them to take community college courses while still in high school. These courses often transfer as college credit and can strengthen a student's application by showing they have already succeeded in college-level coursework. Tip keep detailed records of any dual enrollment courses, including grades and credits, and include this information on your child's transcript. Career Preparation for Non-College-Bound Students Not all students will immediately pursue college after high school, and that's okay. There are many viable career paths that don't require a traditional four-year degree. If your homeschooled child is exploring alternative options, consider the following. Vocational and Technical Education Trade schools and vocational programs offer specialized training in fields like plumbing, carpentry, automotive technology, and cosmetology. These programs are often shorter and more affordable than a traditional college degree, allowing students to enter the workforce more quickly. Apprenticeships provide hands-on training in a particular trade or industry, while the apprentice works under the guidance of a skilled professional. Apprenticeships can lead to full-time employment in fields such as construction, manufacturing, healthcare, and IT. Many homeschoolers develop entrepreneurial skills during their education and may choose to start their own business. If your child is interested in entrepreneurship, consider encouraging them to take business courses or seek out mentorship opportunities to help them turn their ideas into reality. For students who are unsure of their next steps after high school, a gap year can provide time to gain work experience, travel, 
or volunteer while deciding on their long-term career or educational goals. Internships and volunteering. Encourage your child to pursue internships or volunteer opportunities in fields they are interested in. This not only builds valuable skills but also strengthens college and job applications. Extracurricular activities. Participation in clubs, sports, music, or other extracurricular activities is important for developing leadership, teamwork, and time management skills. Highlight these activities on both college and job applications. Life skills. Preparing for college or a career also means building practical life skills, such as financial literacy, time management, and communication. Be sure to incorporate these skills into your homeschooling plan. Preparing homeschooled students for college and careers is a process that requires careful planning and documentation, especially during the high school years. By building a strong transcript, taking advantage of standardized testing and AP CLEP exams, and understanding the college application process, homeschoolers can successfully navigate the path to higher education. For students pursuing alternative career paths, vocational training, apprenticeships, and entrepreneurship offer viable and rewarding options. No matter what path your child chooses, providing them with the right tools, resources, and support will ensure that they are prepared for the future, whether in college, the workforce, or beyond. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.